Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we use a translation feature in Oracle BI reports to design a multilingual reports. Okay, so let us understand what is XLIF, what is this template translation in different languages supported by BI publisher, and how do we test this translation report from BIP scheduler as well as how do we test it from an ESS job. So the major understanding to about translation is we have to understand XLIF. Okay, what is this XLIF is all about? It's a XML localization interchange file format. It is a standard supported by OASIS and it has to follow a specific structure. Generally, when you when you consider any XML document, it will have its own pre-designed uh, prescribed structure based on the specification which you are using. This XLIF follows a OASIS open organization specification. And here, if you observe the sample, like it follows this particular hierarchy, like a XLIF followed by file, then header, body, translation unit, source language, target language, as well as node. And here, if you observe the, the very important components are source as well as target languages, as well as what is the source language as well as target language. So now using this particular XLIF file format, Oracle performs a translation when you're using a XLIF file, okay? And now, so like, a, Whenever you want to do any translation, like uh, you have to consider these particular elements, you have to change the information accordingly. Source language, generally, most of the times we generally design the things in using English language. Then we use a target specification language. And based on that, you have to, here if you observe the target language, right, you have to mention the language code as well as country code. And then under this body section, here you have a source element as well as target element. Like uh, this is the English language, this is the Chinese language. Similarly, you have a like English and Chinese, right? This is how you have to mention in the source and target elements. And when you are having, like, uh, let us say, we understood XLIF is a file which tells you the translation com translation component details for each particular element of your English language or a respective language, like source to target language conversion. Now, when you design the templates, you may require a template to be available in different multiple languages. In our example today, we are discussing about the availability of a template language in a French or France. So now what are we trying to do is I want, I have an English report and I want to show the French report or a France report to the French user. Then how do I design? There are multiple ways of design. And when you're designing a document, what is the naming convention you have to follow? So here, if you observe some of the example, I can design my, if you observe my English language template could be employee template.rtf. Then when you define a translation XLIF file, make sure that XLIF file will have a language. XLIF file will end with, end with fr underscore fr. Small lang small FR is for the, what you call language FR, the big FR is for the country, okay? So this is how you have to follow. And then how does the translation gets applied? So it follows a technical architecture, like a saying that like when you get the, when you, when you get the report running, at runtime, it will find out what is the user context based on, based on that it will get the Excel file and then it will perform translation and finally it will generate the output for us. And now there are two types of translation logics which are available. One thing is you can have an XLIF file wherein you'll have only one template, but this XLIF file will be automatically applied based on the user context. Other option is you can have do you can have multiple templates like for each specific language. In that scenario, you don't require any XLIF file, but the template, the RTF template, will get selected based on the user local. Nothing but let us say if I want to have a French language template, I can have an English language template, one RTF file, a French language RTF file, one file. This is a second logic wherein we have a different templates for each language. But we, using one template also, we can design a multi-language report. What we can do is you can have a one RTF template, which is a base language English. And in that one, what you do is you design another XLIF file, which, which has information about translation of EN to French. That's it. That, that is another option. Okay. So here, if you observe, if you are using the other, like a, this is a normal way of execution, right? You have a your your employee report as XML, and you have a French template, and you have a publisher, and you get an output in the French. And if you are using XLIF logic, how does it generate? You will have an employee report which is a, like a normal, like your data model is in the XML, and then you have an English language template, and then what will happen is your translation will apply it during generation, and then you'll get the French output. In the above scenario, you'll have a you'll have a you'll have a separate template for French language based on the local. This particular template will be selected. And here, but in the XLIF option, what will happen is you'll have a base language template, which is in English, but the only thing is your translation strings are sub translation strings are available in the XLIF file that will get selected at runtime by the BI publisher. This is a difference. You can follow this option or this option based on the your requirement. Okay. Now, 
how do we upload right so what we can do is like uh, we'll see in the ui how do we test it as well as how do you upload okay so let us go to ui first i'll go to xml publisher okay and this is my template customer details dot xml and now here if you observe customer details report is my report i'll click on customer details report And I already have a template, right? I already have a template, but let us say if you're designing it for the first time, what we have, what is the step we have to follow? I'll just delete this one first of all, okay? Okay, assume that I don't have any report at all. I'll click on save first of all. And then what I'll do, I'll design an English template. I'll design an English template, a normal English template. Now here, if you observe, this is the English template. Now what we'll do is we'll just consider our English template and upload it. Add new layout, upload, customer details RTX. Customer details. Okay, now how do we apply the translation, right? We require an Excel file, but how do you get the Excel file? You just click on properties. And now here, if you observe by default, when we upload the template, we selected the language as English. Now what we want to, you want to apply Excel for which language, what you do, select the base language as English, and then you click on extract translation, right? Now this translation.excel will get downloaded. Just observe the exhalation, this particular one. And here, if you observe the source language as EN and target language also, it mentioned EN and US. But now that we have to change and it just scroll down, nothing to change in the middle. Internal file don't change anything. Here in the middle, you have a set of options like uh, for each particular text area, which is there in the template. Now part, start with party number. You have to replace party number with a translation of, you know, like uh, the French language. So there are a number of ways you can get the translation. So I prefer like a google.com. If you want to have, if you have any other option or if your particular client provides the information, you can just do a translation accordingly. Now translation this one and translation is English this one and French translation tr French translation for the party name is this one, right? Once you got this particular information, copy this one and then you replace the appropriate elements here one by one like this. And finally, your translation template will look like this one. Translation Excel file will look like the one which I have designed already. I'll show you that. This is how it looked like. First of all, you have to change it, target language to FR, hyphen FR. And then for every element source, and this is my source and this is my target, this is my source and this is my target. So for every particular element of my English, I have a French language translation. Once your translation template is, translation XLIF file is ready, select that one, go to the instance. And here you just click on this particular button upload and select the translation template, XLIF file, not template, sorry, FX. XLF file, I can say translation underscore fr hyphen fr dot xlf and local as French. Click on OK and save it. Click on return. And now, when you simply click on view report, by default, English will get selected. There is no other option. Okay. But how does you know that your translation is working properly? The best and easiest option is click on catalog. Uh, let me navigate to analytics. Okay. Customer detail report. Click on more and now click on schedule. on output right now you select French here and click on submit the job got submitted click on return customer detail report click on history 
okay the latest one click on the french one click on output now we able to see the the template which is a translation template very simple so only thing is this is working based on the xlf xlf file xlf file translation but what is other way like wherein we have a different template for a french right now here if you observe i have one more template customer details underscore fr dot rtf wherein i have a separate template for french right now in this scenario what we have what happens is we have to upload this template explicitly let us let me show you that example also now i have another template another report called customer details multiple layouts report click on edit so here what i have is i have two templates one is for english other one is french okay so let me click on properties okay so here if you observe what i have done my customer details are layout if i just click on french right this is my french template or uh, to show you clearly what i can do is i'll just go here i'll simply click on delete so for the customer multiple layouts as of now i don't have any template at all okay and say a new layout and upload customer yeah i'll follow this convention customer details custom details dot rtf rtf template english okay now you click on properties and here what you do is what what are we trying to do is we have a single template for the same template we have a another language template in the in this kind of scenario what you have to do is you have to click on that particular specific template now you just click on upload and now choose a template file here it it is our ex customer details underscore fr dot rtf and select the template type as rtf only language here test i'll select french okay now for the same template you have a another translation template by default english got selected but at runtime, if your your local is different, then the other language will get selected. Now, what we do is this particular for this particular report, I have registered an ESS job, and here, if you observe, let me rerun this ESS job. Okay, submit. okay so this will be default default english language only because as of now user local is an english language only so definitely it will generate the data in the english only but how do we test in french language what you can do is i'll log out Okay, I will log out now, and then I will log. I will log in with the French user. I mean, it's a French language. Okay, the same user log in with the French context. Okay, to understand that, like a prompts, I need to select. I'll select English language so that I can understand the prompts easily. It's still tough anyway. The tools, scheduled treatments or processes. Now I'll click on this first button. Customer FR. Okay, the first one customer multi language report ENFR. Click on OK, submit. The one which is ending with 176 is our output.
select this. Okay, now just can, can just simply click on republish or you can here if you observe carefully, the local is French automatically and you just click on republish, you should see the French output now by default. So it is still in English language, right? The local is French, but just click on default output. Yeah, right? When you republish, it is not generating in, in gen, gen, not generating in French, but when you simply click on the output, it is in a French language, right? Click on this one. It is in French. So this is how the RTF template, if you have RTF template separately, based on the context, it, that particular specific template will be selected. Only, only thing you have to very careful is you have to upload the same RTF template for different language in the, by clicking on the property section of that particular template. And it has to generally end with a particular underscore, your language code iPhone, language code language-code-iPhone-country code. That's how it has to be, okay? And now the re report registration process, let me show you that also. And we have, we have checked it, how do you test it from BIP? Like uh, you just need to click on schedule and you have to, in the output, you select the appropriate locale and then that's it. That's how you can test it from BIP. And then if you want to test it from a ESS job, you know, this is my report registration, like a uh, customer details, multi-language EN, EN, iPhone, FR. This is my report path. There is no other extra, is extra property I have selected at the ESS level. And then you just run the job and that's it. Like based on the, if at all, if you're local as this particular French language and definitely your particular French language template has to be selected. That's how the logic works automatically. Okay, we don't require any extra coding. If at all, there are some scenarios wherein, you know, like uh, as of now, we have discussed about two approaches. One is using XLF file. Other one is using a different template. So which one to use it? Again, it depends upon your requirement. So if your template is very difficult, better have a different templates. That is the best option. But if your template is very simple, only changes just in the element names, then XLF is the easiest option. Okay. This is all about translation logic in Oracle Fusion BIP. Thank you.